Hello. Hello. P. Bhankata Raman. Ah, good evening, sir. Yes, uh, very good evening. Ah, sir. Is uh, this uh, audible? Ah, sir, audible. Okay, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. Also visible? Ah, okay, sir. Visible. Okay. Uh, how many students are there? I don't know. Uh, let's uh, start. Uh, your subject is uh, uh, that is of uh, BCS 31. Am okay. I right? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, that is programming in C. C. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, I think uh, you have uh, uh, learned uh, C programming. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. yes. Okay, then it will be very easy uh, to learn uh, C++. Okay. 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 For C, uh, the subject is C++. That means uh, all the features of C are uh, available in C++. All the features of C, C program. Okay. 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 So, uh, uh, I think uh, there are uh, several uh, modules. Uh, I think three blocks are there uh, in this. Uh, uh, in, this is thirty-one. Okay. Okay. So, so for that, uh, you should know uh, the basic concept of programming um, and uh, programming languages. Yes. Yes. Let present my screen. Is it visible? Ah, okay, sir. Mission language is very Yes, yes, yes. So uh, here, uh, as it is C plus uh, plus programming. So basic uh, idea about uh, the programming languages uh, here in uh, first uh, module. Okay. So okay. there are uh, different languages. Uh, we can classify the computer languages. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, sir. Yes, please uh, mute your mic. Ah, uh, okay. Sir. Whenever I will ask questions, then I will answer. Okay. So, yeah, different languages like uh, we can classify the languages into three categories like machine level language, assembly language, and high level language. Okay, so um, what is machine language? Only that uh, understand that is uh, of zeros and ones. Okay, so whenever there is uh, the computer or develop at that time, uh, there are no languages. Uh, we are to give the in instruction in only binary form that is 0 and 1. Okay, so after uh, uh, in, at that time, there, there is a problem by using the machine uh, language, machine level language. Uh, what was the problem we are facing? Yes. Uh, uh, Srinivas, Srini am I audible? Srinivas, yes, sir. It is clearly audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I am discussing about different uh, languages uh, as it is the uh, introduction part of uh, programming languages. So you should have knowledge uh, of that. So uh, computer languages can be classified into three categories like machine level language, assembly language, and high level language. Okay. 
so machine level language we are using nowadays we are using the digital computer that understand only 0 and 1 okay so that means uh, that uh, what uh, only uh, machine language uh, that uh, we are giving the instructions in 0 and 1 in machine language so it is easy to easy for the system to recognize uh, interpret and also give the um, heart, uh, output according to the input okay see here uh, the machine code uh, or machine language is set of instruction executed directly by computer cpu that is central processing unit uh, so is there any uh, other students no only uh, two of uh, So machine level language uh, that is only in, uh, zeros and one okay so assembly language what is assembly language you may heard about uh, the assembler uh, interpreter and compiler but, uh, for what purpose these uh, interpreter compiler and assembler are used anybody who can say any idea already you have learned uh, c programming Yes, uh, P. Venkataraman, can you say? Interpreter. Compile the program, sir. Compile the program. C program. Yes. Uh, compiler. C program. But compiler is used. It executes the instructions, sir, one by one. What? Compiler or, or interpreter? Low, uh, high level to low level language convert the high level to low level yes very good uh, compiler and interpreter both are the translator but basic difference is that the compiler execute uh, uh, entire program at a time whereas interpreter execute the instructions in line by line okay so uh, obviously, the compiler is the faster than the interpreter. So, what is assembler? What is assembler? Can you say? Screenable? See, assembler also a translator which translates the assembly language into machine language. Yes or no? So, in this way, we can classify the languages uh, computer uh, programming languages uh, into three uh, level that is machine level language assembly level language and high level language okay it is clear so we are using uh, uh, like uh, the programming languages c c plus plus and java all are include under uh, that uh, high level languages yes already you have learned c programming it is comes under high level language so uh, whenever the the computer uh, at that time of um, computer developed at that time there are no languages uh, we have to give uh, the instruction in uh, binary form that is zero and one okay as uh, the uh, systems only uh, recognize only, only interpret uh, binary that is it is easy to uh, easy for the system but there is a difficulties for human being as the uh, instruction uh, give uh, given in the what binary form it is very difficult to read and also also to remember for that uh, to overcome that difficulty the uh, translator uh, are uh, to be uh, developed okay like uh, there are two persons uh, one person uh, knows only hindi and another person knows only uh, suppose english the communication cannot be made for that uh, to solve that problem there should be another person who knows both uh, hindi and english so that uh, he or she can uh, uh, translate uh, one language to another then um, interpret into another then um, the communication can be made okay so here machine level language assembly language and high level language high level language uh, like c c plus plus cobol uh, fortran okay so anybody who can say uh, the full form of COBOL? 
Yes or no? Yes, very good. Common business oriented. Basic language. is the beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code. Okay. Then Java Fortran, Fortran is formula translation. These all are included under high uh, sorry, uh -huh, yes, high level languages. So high level programming languages are broadly categorized into two cat uh, types. That is uh, procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming. Okay. So procedure oriented programming, uh, the examples uh, comes under this, that is C program. Uh, let's uh, take um, the example C here. Object oriented programming, uh, let's uh, take the example of C++. Okay, OOP, uh, POP and OOP. Several times questions uh, comes uh, about that, that is the difference between POP and OOP. So procedure oriented programming language, C, there is a main program and uh, different functions uh, uh, there. We can uh, what, uh, split uh, the entire pro a large program into different uh, functions. Uh, uh, a function into uh, a smaller part that is sub functions. So anybody who can say what is a, a function here? Yes. Function is one program. Predefined program. What is a program? Program is set of instructions. Okay. Uh, we can call a function at any time. Yes, yes. In the pro, program. Uh, program is a set of instructions. Mm, but a function is, uh, you can say, it is a, a block of uh, statements that perform a specific task. Okay, it perform a specific task. Uh, there are uh, two types of functions in C you have learned. Uh, can you say? Two types of functions. As it is, uh, your subject is C++. So all the features, why it is C++, why named so? Because uh, means the, all the features are uh, available in uh, C++, some extra features are added okay so the concept uh, the idea comes from the increment operator plus plus is the increment operator okay from that idea comes so anybody who can say uh, who uh, um, developed a c program yes very dennis, good. Ritchie. dennis ritchie developed uh, the c program <coughs> at at and bell laboratory of usa uh, in which year? Uh, I'm not aware of that. Uh, 19, <laughs> 1972, uh, I think. Uh, the C++ uh, was developed by Zerne uh, Strobstu. Okay. <clears throat> A person. Uh, also, uh, they are at and t Bell Laboratory of USA. In... Uh, <clears throat> 1983 okay initially it was called uh, c with uh, classes as there are uh, all the pictures of c are there and some uh, class concept uh, are added that's why uh, the prior name of c++ was c with classes <clears throat> in 18, 1983 it was named uh, like uh, c++ so see here this is uh, is it visible the uh, my screen is visible to you Yes or no? Yes, sir. yes. There is a main yes, program and different uh, that one uh, uh, divided into uh, several functions. Okay. As you know that functions means the block of statement that perform a specific task. And there are two types of functions. Uh, as you know that in C already you have learned two types of functions are there: library function and user defined function. Okay, so library functions, that means the functions that are inbuilt in the compiler and the user defined function that is uh, uh, created by the users according to the requirement. Okay, so uh, example of library functions in C, that is printf and scanf, uh, already you have uh, acquainted, uh, um, uh, already you learned in C. C, <coughs> this is the structure here of a process procedure oriented programming the disadvantages of procedure oriented programming language is global data access it does not model real world problem very well and no data hiding 
uh, several times questions comes about uh, the difference between uh, uh, what uh, procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming okay so example here uh, the procedure oriented programming is c and uh, the example of object oriented programming is c++ also questions comes about what are the difference between c and c++ uh, you can say here uh, also another question um, uh, here means uh, how um, sorry why we should uh, prefer and what are the uh, that means uh, what are the demerits or disadvantages global data access uh, means in case of uh, procedure oriented programming uh, the data are not secure <coughs> okay as any function can call another function so data moves freely throughout the program so global data access is uh, possible means uh, a data can be declared as global and any function can access yes or no in c program yes sir yes. correct <clears throat> so global data access so this is the disadvantages and it does not model real world problem very well or no data hiding data hiding mechanism is not available in uh, procedure oriented programming see <clears throat> global data here functions and local data a fun low and a variables uh, declare uh, low um, in a functions that uh, that is local to that function also globally you can declare before main function the data declare is known as global data okay so this is the uh, diagram or you can say model of a uh, how uh, data can be accessed globally any function can access so characteristic of procedure oriented programming it emphasizes uh, in on doing a thing that is algorithm larger programs are divided into smaller program known as function okay so most of the functions they are global data data move openly already have discussed a uh, functions transform data from one form to another form and employ top down approach so basic difference between the procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming is that uh, procedure oriented programming pop and oop pop follows top down approach whereas uh, object oriented concept object oriented programming follows bottom up approach top down and bottom up uh, so uh, how can you explain that is top down here like see this one <laughs> main program is there we can split into different uh, functions that is called top down okay so uh, object oriented programming uh, is uh, based on uh, or follows bottom up approach means uh, smaller smaller elements that can be uh, combined to make a larger program means uh, the concept of object uh, is uh, included here see in this lecture too object oriented programming <coughs> object oriented programming is an approach that provides a way of modularizing programs by creating partition memory area so like uh, uh, here um, object object means any real world entities can be treated as object okay so it may be a place it may be a person it may be a table chair anything can be treated as object okay so <clears throat> what is a class main uh, your uh, um what uh, topic is uh, object and class here in c++ all others are same like a basic uh, basics of programming like a data types variables uh, also um, your uh, conditional statement or control structure that is uh, and array functions and um, both uh, all are available in c++ the main concept uh, include that is object and class concept so similar type of objects constitutes a class as i said that object means any real world entities can be treated as object it may be a place it may be a person it may be a table chair anything okay so whenever i ask about a, a like a, take the example of a uh, fruit okay fruit is a class whereas each fruit like uh, apple orange bananas all are the object yes so similar characteristics all the fruits like uh, apple orange bananas are 
दिमिलर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक लाइक द फ्रूट टेस्ट स्वीट ये सब नो आर यू गेटिंग यस ऑल द फ्रूट्स लाइक एप्पल ऑरेंज बनानास द सिमिलर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट इज यू कैन से दैट इज फ्रूट्स टेस्ट स्वीट्स ओके सो व्हेनेवर आई से अबाउट ए फ्रूट सपोज आज आई से दैट इज ए सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट मेक ए क्लास सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट मीन एप्पल ऑरेंज बनाना ऑल आर सिमिलर इन व्हिच वे द टेस्ट द टेस्ट इज स्वीट सो द क्लास इज फट फ्रूट लेट्स से अनदर एग्जांपल लाइक हियर यू आर प्रेजेंट लाइक श्रीनिवास एंड वेंकटा रमण uh both uh, are the students of uh think uh, third semester yes or no yes sir um, yes <coughs> all of you are um, you belong to third semester bca am i right yes sir yes sir yes so so here srinivas is an object venkata raman is also an object so <coughs> of which class of student class okay so similar characteristics of behavior is uh, both are uh, belongs to and uh, the third semester uh, bca srinivas uh, is belongs to uh, um, third semester bca also venkata raman belongs to third semester bca this is the similar characteristics yes so <coughs> the class uh of which uh, they belongs to which class student class okay getting my point what is object and class yes sir yes sir yes yes okay so here <clears throat> object a object b and object c is there object a contain data and function uh we can say that is uh, in uh, object oriented concept that is method okay object b data and functions all of you know what is a function <clears throat> as i said function means the block of statements that perform a specific task <clears throat> okay so here communication made between different uh, objects this diagram shows so features of object oriented programming it emphasizes on doing uh, uh, what uh, <clears throat> rather than procedures it emphasizes on data as data is secure so uh, when it means every things uh, having uh, some uh, uh, advantages also disadvantages like c program uh, ap after using c or um, uh, why we should uh, go for c++ that means there are several uh, advantages more advantages uh, than uh, c that's why uh, we should go for the advanced technologies so here <coughs> object oriented programming uh, that, that emphasis uh, gives on the data rather than procedure <coughs> as you know that in object oriented concept data is more secure okay so program are divided uh, into what are known as object these are the features of object oriented programming program are divided into what are known as object so data structures are designed such that characterize the object functions that operate on the data of an object tied together uh, in the data structure see here suppose object a object uh, a uh, let what what your name like venkata raman and srinivas is here okay so uh, suppose here um, venkata raman is uh, an object uh, srinivas is another object so um, of which class that uh, class uh, of stu student class okay so data is are um, here let's say roll number and marks okay so methods uh, like functions <coughs> okay so what should be the functions for a uh, student class or for um, venkata raman's object or uh, srinivas object so uh, functions uh, let's say it is uh, um, what uh, display results or um, read or write anything am i audible yes sir yes sir yes yes sir so i am discussing about uh, object okay uh, 
uh, as it is object oriented uh, programming uh, in that is in c++ so you should uh, have a clear idea about object as i said any real world entity can be treated as object and that means physically exist let's say uh, example of uh, a dog uh, you know whenever i say about dog any dog uh, comes uh, to in your mind uh, if i say tommy or puppy okay when uh, we are keeping the dog at home our, our pet dog we gi uh, give that name like pet or like a uh, tommy or puppy whenever i say uh, about tommy that means it is an object but dog is a class okay dog is a class whereas tommy or puppy or blacky or goldie any name you give uh, to your dog that um, is an object means that is physically exists fruit is a class whereas apple orange bananas all are object let's say another example like uh, flower flower is a class whereas rose uh, marigold china rose etc are lotus uh, is an object lotus is an object of which class flower class all of you getting yes sir yes so, so here basic concept of object oriented uh, programming uh, see uh, object oriented programming uh, basic concept are object classes data structure and encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding message passing okay so this is very important uh, questions forms uh, several times uh, what are the uh, basic concept uh, of object oriented programming already i have uh, discussed uh, or explained these two objects and uh, classes okay object means any real uh, world entities can be treated as object see objects are basic on time entities in our object oriented system they may represent a person a place a bank account a table of data or any item okay so the fundamental idea behind object uh, oriented approach is to combine both data and function into a single unit so these units are called object the term object means combination of data and program represent some real world entity for example consider an example amit is 25 years old and his salary is 2500 and uh, amit may be represented a, uh, in a computer program as an object the data part of the object uh, would be like uh, name age salary already have discussed uh, in this part uh, data what should be the data for uh, uh, an um, uh, object uh, like a student okay so functions <coughs> see amit amit uh, is a boy uh, whose age is 25 years and salary this so these are the data name age and salary the program part of object may be collection of program that is retrieve of data change um, age like change of salary in general even user defined uh, type such as employee may be used see object here is a student uh, data like name date of birth marks and functions like total average display okay tell me what are the function symbol of fun uh, function anybody symbol of a function symbol of a fun function uh, not ever at it uh, you remember uh, you um, how to write a c program yes sir yes tell me suppose there is simple program like a, um, a program to uh, write a program in c to display your name on the screen so how to write um, first line is into studio.h conio.h uh, main uh, printf srinivas open brushes and closing brushes yes yes uh, word main after that which symbol is you have to give open curly brushes yes open no no word main void main uh, void main uh, bracket close bracket open bracket close yes that is called parenthesis okay that bracket known as parenthesis then after that curly brushes okay srin srinivas yes sir yes so 
uh, here uh, functions like total, uh, average, and display. See, this is the student, and uh, the functions are like total, average, and display. In this way, we can represent an object. Object content data and methods. The functions uh, we uh, can say in uh, C plus or in object to render concept that is method. See class already have discussed a group of objects that share common properties. Group of objects that share common properties for data part and some programs part are collectively called a uh, are called a class. In C plus plus class is a new data type that contains member variable and member functions that operate on the variable. Okay. So it is a new data type. It contains member variables and member functions. Data abstraction. Abstraction refers to act uh, representing essential features. Okay. Essential features without including the background details. Only essential features are to be put. That is uh, that to be collect. That is called abstraction. The classes use the concept of abstraction and are uh, defined as size width and cost and functions to operate on the attribute so data encapsulation data encapsulation and the wrapping up of data and function into a single unit okay is known as encapsulation uh, for example class since within a class we can put uh, the data and uh, uh, what uh, that is called variables and functions that is called member variable and member function that can be included uh, within a class so that is called encapsulation means put it into a single unit next is inheritance inheritance is the process by which object of one class acquire the properties of uh, an, another class so inheritance like uh, you and your parents uh, you may acquire the properties of your uh, parents uh, like uh, in looks or in behavior am i right all of us uh, like uh, we uh, inherit the characteristics of our parent and our parent inherit the characteristics of their parent or our grandparent okay so uh, that is in general life uh, the uh, inheritance uh, uh, feature or concept here in programming uh, inheritance is the process by which object of one class acquire the properties of object of another class if there is a class that means uh, by using the inheritance we can create uh, the new class from an existing class all of you getting if there is a class we can create another class by using the properties of that existing class okay so polymorphism polymorphism that means poly means what many morphism means form so uh, here the ability to take more than one form and an operation may exhibit different instances. The behavior depends upon the type of data used in the operation. Let's see example of uh, a plus here. See, so overloading may be uh, operator overloading or function overloading. It is able to express uh, operation of addition by a single operator. See, is it visible this plus operator yes or no yes sir yes when this is possible yes, uh, you use uh, this x plus y to denote the sum so plus uh, uh, symbol is used uh, to what uh, represent on uh, the expression like x plus y or a plus b or p plus q like way so uh, for many different types of x and y, uh, integers, float, complex number, etc. So the result depends upon the data we give. Like um, suppose uh, x and y are integer. So uh, x plus y will be integer. x and y are in float. The result of uh, their sum will be float you can uh, even define the plus operation of two string to mean the concatenation of the string that means the plus operator can be used as a concatenation uh, operator that is uh, suppose uh, the input data are of string then uh, that uh, suppose <coughs> let's say 
and Srinivas, uh, may I know your uh, surname? Srinivas PBS. Otluru. Yes. Let's say Srinivas PBS. Yes, Srinivas PBS. Uh, so uh, Srinivas is a string. PBS is another string. If uh, we use that loss operator for that two type uh, string, then it concatenate. Okay. <coughs> that means it produce another string. Srinivas PBS, there should um, not be any space. So that uh, I am my uh, I have to uh, say that uh, it depends upon the uh, input data. If input data is an integer, then result will be another integer. If it is string, then it will concatenate. Means same operator that plus acts as uh, or interpret different behavior. <coughs> then dynamic binding. Binding refer to the linking of the procedure call uh, to the code to the executed in response to the call. So dynamic binding means the code associated with the given procedure call is not known until the time of call at runtime. That means here, whenever uh, the procedure uh, is called uh, like your uh, function call. Okay, so that uh, the code associated uh, with the given procedure is not known until the time of call at runtime. So that's in this is called uh, dynamic binding. So message passing already uh, I have discussed that like uh, the object uh, can communicate among themselves by message passing an object oriented program uh, program consists of set of object and communicate with each other. So message for an object is a request. See employee dot salary within parenthesis there is name. So here employee is an object. Salary is a message and name is the information. So message passing involves specifying the name of the object, name of the function, or information to be sent. Okay. So these uh, are all about your uh, features or concept of proofs. Okay. What are the um, concept or features of proofs? You can say object class. Data abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic binding, and message passing. <clears throat> okay, so let's say, uh, let uh, explain about uh, the benefit of OOPS. OOPS refers several benefit, like uh, as there is inheritance concept here. See, um, the benefit of um, uh, is uh, not for the only program or designer, also for the user. Object oriented contribute to the solution of many problems associated with development and quality of software product. Means by using OOPS concept, object oriented program concept, we can uh, produce uh, a quality uh, product or quality software. So uh, as there is inheritance concept, and the inheritance uh, we can eliminate redundant code. By using inheritance concept, we can. I eliminate redundant code that, that means duplication uh, not be there and extend the use of existing classes so we can build program from uh, standard working module that are communicated with uh, one another that um, also you can say this leads to the saving of uh, what time also higher productivity as there is reuse concept means uh, there is no need to write again and again code so it increases the productivity and this principle um, principle of data heading as you know that there is data heading mechanism it helps the program to build secure secure program and cannot be emitted by the code okay so it is uh, possible to have multiple instance of an object to coexist um, so without any interference so it is very easy to partition the work of uh, uh, in a project uh, based on the object So a project work can be partitioned easily. So object-oriented system can be easily upgraded from small to large. So message passing technique for communication between objects make the interface discussion with external system and simpler. Software complexity can be easily managed. Next applications and the um, OOPS uh, concept uh, that uh, like C++ programming can be used for 
real time system simulation modeling also object oriented database hypertext and uh, export text ai that is artificial intelligence and export system uh, also neural network and decision support and so cn and cad cam computer aided manufacturing computer aided design system next this is the basics of c++ here uh, as already uh, i said that is uh, uh, developed by what zernest <coughs> also c++ is an object oriented programming language it was developed by zernest uh, also i think there is a spelling mistake uh, um, here is zernest uh, uh, the starting letter uh, is b actually b j a r n y <coughs> but pronouns uh, b will uh, should be silent here So, Zarnis to to part AT&T Bell Lab of USA in early 80s. C++ was developed from C and C++ 67 language. C++ early called C++. Already have discussed. It was initial name was C++. Classes. All of you, uh, it is uh, audible. Yes or no? Yes sir. Yes. Yes sir. So C++ developed from uh, what? Uh, both C and Simula 67. Simula 67, uh, like uh, the concept of classes are included uh, there. That's why the name was like so. Uh, C with classes. The initial name uh, of C++ was C with classes, but later on it was changed to C++. So C++ comment. C++ introduce a new style comment. Can you say uh, uh, how? Uh, we are using uh, the command in uh, C programming. In C programming, uh, uh, how uh, we use uh, uh, what command line by using which symbol? Anybody? Have you remember? Yes. Sir. Tell me. Yes, what are, what are the symbol for command line? Okay, you have forgotten. Uh, see here, uh, the C command uh, symbol is it visible? Mouse pointer is there? I'm yes, sir, here. visible, visible. Yes, the C command uh, symbols like uh, slash that is uh, yes forward slash no, asterisk symbol. Is, yes, no hyphen. Uh, no, then there is no hyphen. Uh, for our class, a strict symbol is there. Then any text you can write here. Then a strict symbol is there. Then for our that should be followed by a strict and um, a slash. Yes. Okay. So our uh, this is also still valid and yes, more. Sir. Yes, more suitable for multi-line comments. Okay. In C, we are using slash a strict. Then uh, any uh, messages you can write, uh, then uh, it should be terminated by asterisk and slash. So this is uh, like uh, suppose there is a message. This is an example of C++ program. So that should be included within this pair of symbols like uh, forward slash asterisk then asterisk and forward uh, slash. Yes. So see this one. Okay, I am moving mouse pointer here. That uh, uh, double slash. This is an example of C++ program. Uh, thank you. There are some messages here. So double slash. That is a single line comment. Can you uh, guess uh, the uh, uh, what uh, difference between these two type of uh, commenting style? Actually, C++. The forward slash and two forward slash single line comments. Sir. Yes, yes, very good. Only for the yes, 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 very good. Uh, double slash is used for a uh, single line uh, comments actually, but it supports uh, the multi line comment like uh, slash uh, streak then a streak and a slash. Um, means whenever suppose uh, this uh, see here there are three lines. Okay, this is an example of C plus plus program. Thank you. Uh, this statement are uh, written in three lines. So you have to give uh, three pair of uh, forward slash here. But if you are using this uh, command C C command uh, symbol, then only 
two times you have to give like uh, at the starting and at the end let's say there are 10 lines or 20 lines of comment okay so you uh, if you are using double slash uh, then you have to give 20 times but uh, the uh, this symbol c style symbol only uh, at the starting and at the end are you getting yes yes sir yes output operator c uh, in C, the output, uh, whenever uh, there is uh, any message to be displayed on the screen, we are using uh, what uh, printf statement. And for inputting uh, the values from the keyboard, we are using scanf. So here, output operator C, the statement C out, C O U T. And the symbol is double uh, less than symbol. Okay. The statement C out uh, in double less than symbol. Uh, then hello world hello world uh, is uh, with the double quote display the string with in quotes on the screen are you getting what i am discussing yes sir uh, output operator is used here i mean uh, in object oriented concept or in c plus plus you have to use this statement like suppose you have to print hello world then you have to write c out then this symbol then hello world within double quote in c Okay, in C, uh, we are using uh, printf, then within double quote and bracket that is a hello world. But in C, C out, then double less than symbol. Okay, the, the identifier C out can be used to display individual character, strings, and even number. It is a predefined object. Okay, C out is a predefined object here, corresponding to the standard output stream. And stream just refer to flow data. Stream means what? Flow of data. And the standard output stream normally flows to the screen display. And the C out object uh, whose properties are defined in the IO stream dot H, like your uh, what? STDIO dot H uh, in C. Okay. Whenever we are writing C program, the first line uh, should be uh, yes. Has include STDIO dot H. But in C++, uh, the header file is iostream.h. Are you getting? iostream means input output stream. Stream means what? Flow of data. So the insertion operator, the C out after C out, the symbol used that is called insertion operator. C out is an predefined object. Okay. All of you getting? C out is yes, yes, sir. Yes. and this operator is known as uh, insertion operator also called put to operator directs the information to its uh, right to the object on its left right to the object uh, on its left yes <clears throat> then return statement in c++ main returns an integer type value to the operating system therefore every main function in c++ should end with a return zero statement otherwise it uh, there should be a warning or an error might occur then input operator c the statement c in c in is an predefined object and the symbol uh, is double uh, greater than symbol here okay so uh, this is called what extraction operator so uh, it is an input uh, statement and clause the uh, uh, program to wait for the user to type in a number the number is in a place of variable like number one and the identifier c in is a predefined object correspond to standard standard input stream here this stream represent the keyboard uh, like uh, from keyboard we have to give the input like the operator uh, double greater than is known as get from operator or you can say extraction operator it extracts the value from the keyboard and assign it to the variable on its right cascading of io operator io means input output c out sum is equal to sum then slash n c out sum sum slash n average average are you getting this cascading cascading means uh, using of more than uh, what uh, multiple uh, num uh, numbers uh, time it means num multiple time that symbol used that is insertion operator and extraction operator 
seen number one and then uh, uh, extraction operator then number two like uh, in case of also c uh, program uh, we are using uh, scan map a uh, print tape and scan map here c out and c in is used c structure of a program probably the best way to start learning programming language by writing a program therefore here is our first one c hash include our stream okay dot text would be there but using namespace std is there int main hello world return zero so this is the simple program it, it will print hello world i have stream as you know that a hash symbol here lines beginning with the hash symbol that is a generated for the preprocessor and they are not regular code uh, you are acquainted with uh, that namespace <coughs> Yeah, well. This is the explanation of that uh, program and uh, <coughs> structure of C++ program means include file is there, class declaration, class uh, function and definition here, and also main function program. Include file like uh, has include stream.h, then class declaration, class person, class is a keyword. Okay, so person is the class name then car name 30 int age public void get data void display um, then void so uh, these are the uh, what uh, you can say member function okay within a class as you know that we can uh, whenever there is a class and declaration we can put the uh, <coughs> variable and methods here it is called that is called here uh, member variable and uh, what member function here class variable you can say int age and uh, uh, age is the variables here and um, get data and display are the member function then void person <coughs> see this uh, symbol can you guess what is the symbol here anybody four dot are there four dot this is uh, known as scope operator scope resolution operator uh, in c++ this is used for uh, accessing the uh, what <coughs> data outside the class see <coughs> here class is the um, what person is the class then calibration start, uh, starts here then close here, here. Have you remembered uh, structure in C? Yes or no? As stru structure are declared in C, yes, likewise, uh, um, class uh, is also declared like uh, um, in the similar way. Okay, structure is a uh, user defined data type. Here also class, class, then person, then color is the start, then uh, like character. As you know, that structure is a heterogeneous data collection of heterogeneous data elements and array is a collection of similar type of data elements okay suppose there is an array declaration means all the data are to be stored of a similar type like integer character if it is integer array then all uh, data are of integer type uh, if it is character uh, array then all the uh, all are uh, character type but in case of uh, structure we can put dissimilar type of data integer character means commonly we can uh, put uh, the combination of different types likewise in class <laughs> so class declaration is completed here after semicolon it is uh, so after outside the class that data are accessed so that's why here scope operator is used see what displays the method see out as you know that this is used for displaying the messages so this is the main method <coughs> okay int main then person p person is the class and p is the object so through the object we can access the uh, member function or methods you can say p dot get data and p dot display are you getting yes see uh, the structure of c++ program include um, files uh, and the is should be there then class declaration class uh, functions and definition and main function see this is the include file then class declaration is there then class function and definitions are here and also this is the 
plus uh, uh, methods that mean definition we can say here, and this is the main method. So next is token. What is the token? Uh, all these things uh, you have learned in C. The smallest individual units in a program is known as token. Uh, like keywords, identifiers, uh, constants, uh, strings, operator. Okay. So uh, keyword. Uh, the keywords implement uh, specific C++ language. Uh, they are explicitly reserved. Okay. Keywords are the reserved words. Uh, can you say how many keywords are there in C? Yes. Anybody? Forget the twenty. <laughs> Actually, there are thirty-two keywords in C. Okay. Here, C word means sorry. Keywords means and these are the reserved word that cannot be used as the uh, for the naming of any identifier. We can as a variable uh, like uh, while, uh, do, and then for, int, cap. These are the keywords that they, they are having uh, the specific use that are used for specific purposes that cannot be used for the any naming of any identifier like variables or any functions. Okay, we can't use. They are used for specific purpose. That's what is known as um, keywords and uh, that we see. They are explicitly reserved identifier and cannot be used for, as names of the program variable or other user defined program element. The keywords not found in NCC are shown in the uh, red letter okay so these are the uh, c plus plus keyword asm auto break uh, case okay cash etc so these are the uh, keywords in c plus plus new is also there okay so uh, actually one uh, i think 48 of two <coughs> keywords are there what uh, the nc <coughs> members are adding uh, new keywords uh, they are researching about that some common means 32 are common okay like your uh, car C H A R. it is also in c okay but friend f r i n d friend try okay these some of the keywords are not in c <coughs> okay so there are some common what extra uh, keywords are there that are only in c++ so identifier means what identifier means refers to the name of the variable functions array class etc created by the programmer so each language has its own rule the following are the rule for both common uh, means uh, c and c++ only alphabet character digit underscore are permitted for naming okay the name uh, can start with a digit Okay, uppercase and lowercase letter are distinct, and declared keyword can be used for uh, variable name. See in NCC, uh, the maximum length of variable is 32, but in C, there is no bar. That data type C data type, as already you know in C, and user defined, built in, and derived. User defined data type structure, union, class, enumeration. So, built in that is in, in integral type, void, and floating. Derived type array function pointer. All we getting there are three types of data types: user defined data type, built-in type, and derived type. Derived type examples are array function pointer. User defined structure union class enumeration. Built-in integral type int and char. <coughs> what is there? Floating float and double. So data types uh, in C++ classified under various categories. Character one byte range is there unsigned uh, signed int integer two types okay so float is four byte so type uh, void normally used for uh, what the to specify return type of function when it is not not returning any value that is void void function void so uh, void stars gp here assigning any pointer type uh, to a void pointer Using a task is allowed in both uh, C and NCC. User defined data type, structure and class, enumerated data type. Already you uh, learn uh, structure in C. That is similar uh, like in C++ that a class concept is used. 
symbolic constant there are two ways creating symbolic constant in c++ one is using qualifier constant and another one is defining a set of integers all these things are in c that's a uh, you have to uh, revise uh, again uh, uh, that on uh, main topic i will discuss and that's uh, from the uh, object and class okay declaration of variable already you know how to declare see in ncc all the variables which is used to uh, in program must be declared okay all the variable that should be used in the program that should be declared before using at the beginning what in c++ we can declare the variable any um, so who is in the program where it required <coughs> it can possible this makes the program much easier right and the main float x average is there so there are several uh, but and this is not a declaration of variables here so for uh, already you know the control structure so for loop is used here so reference variable operator already you uh, know in uh, c program uh, there are actually uh, we can classify the operators uh, suppose uh, uh, in the like uh, how many uh, operand it uh, needed in this way also you can classify you may heard about the insertion operator extraction operator scope resolution operator actually c++ has a rich set of operator all c operator are valid in c++ okay in addition c++ includes some new these are here uh, the new uh, that means only in c++ these are new but others are common in c c also in c++ okay like uh, uh, you can classify uh, the operators uh, um, like uh, unary operator binary operator and ternary operator unary operator means uh, the single operand uh, let's say example of binary operator suppose a plus b okay a plus b means that is uh, uh, what Mm, binary operator that means it uh, require two operand plus minus uh, these are the binary operator and uh, you all um, have the idea about increment or decrement operator that are unary operator like uh, they are using the um, looping like uh, a plus plus or uh, for counting for c plus plus anything um, like uh, for i is equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus so plus plus is the uh, unary operator so here some uh, operators are these are new already i have discussed uh, scope resolution operator in the previous example delete is used for uh, release the memory okay new is uh, used for memory allocator operator set w is for width okay so Uh, all of you uh, write uh, your uh, name and register number in the chat box i have forgotten to say uh, have you written so already given okay okay uh, thank you all uh, then uh, see you on uh, next class okay sir give us some mcq important mcqs so that uh, it will be suitable for uh, exam yes. preparation yes yes i will provide mcq okay thank you sir thank you okay okay let's end the meeting thank you all